GM in their infinite level of padding put in a stud through here and this is riveted in and they lock the motors in together and they hammer this shut so you can't pull the stud out to separate your motors. I don't even know how you get this thing out in a normal fashion in order to replace your motors. I think they want you to get the whole assembly all together. Patty, patty, patty. So here's the solution. We're just gonna drill that bitch out, take it out entirely so we can separate these motors. And because thanks to Harbor Frate came to the rescue again, we have a bolt that is exactly the same size, will serve the same function. And this way I can actually bolt it in place and that way I can always take it off again to service the motors later on. So we got the Milwaukee with a step drill bit here to drill that head off of that essentially rivet take it out of the way so we can detach our motors. She's running on the five amp hour high output battery. It'll take care of business. Let's get done. I switched over to the big mama here and this one chew the head right off. So now what we gotta do is punch it out. We gotta just maybe drill a little bit more to clear that remaining head pieces there from this side of the bracket and then we'll be able to just pound the sucker out and hallelujah now we can separate our motors and examine why that mechanism has failed back there so you got to kind of bend this bracket back make sure you cut the head of that entirely off because it had a little bit of a lip of the head there still holding this bitch on there once i got the head cut off then i could pull this off here entirely ah this is they put it so you can't pull it in, you can't pull it out. <laughs> God, GM, you bitch. Anyway, that's fine, because I'm gonna cut this off entirely here and just get the stud entirely out. Like I said, I have this bolt here, which will basically fit right in and do the exact same job and allow me to actually tie it in place with a lock nut and then I can service this at any time instead of this stupid crap. Very important note here, when you're dealing with your power source here, just lift these little tabs, ear tabs, with two fingers, and then just gently rock it back and forth until you get it come out. But before you remove it all the way, take a picture of its orientation, because this can go in in any orientation. You can end up with it in a reversed function, so then your switch is now going backwards, just like we have with the forward in reverse. So before I remove it all the way, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of the orientation, so that way I know exactly how to put it back in its proper place. Well, after spending hours on the roadway, and several auto parts places, calling other places that are many, many towns and cities over all across my local area. Guess what?